If people know about me or read about me, I want them to say, he was a good man, he was a good father, he was a good son, he was a good husband. He wanted to do what he thought was right. I really can't ask for more than that. I was born July 6, 1930, in the Bronx, New York. The biggest influence on my life as a child, I would say, was my mother. To me, she was the smartest person in the world, and she always had the answers that I needed. And I had confidence in her, and I trusted in her. And I had one sibling, my brother, who was a year older than me. So, of course, when I had to confide in somebody, my brother was there. My father was a policeman. It was a job during the Depression that he got and it didn't pay much. And he used to put away his revolver in his shirt drawer, underwear drawer, and take, and take the bullets out of it. And I don't know how old I was, I couldn't have been too old, but I found the revolver. And I picked it up, and it, to me it was, I knew that it was something that was wonderful, and I brought it to my mother and I said, Ma, look what I found. And she says, oh, okay, I'll take it, you give it to me, you shouldn't carry that. Whatever she said, she took it away, and I know she told my father, and I looked after that, can never find that gun again. Glenn Miller, uh, Charlie Spivak, Benny Goodman, all, all the good vocalists, they were, the, that was my day, that was my age. And uh, they influenced me a lot later on when I started studying music. I studied guitar, and that was the type of music I didn't want to try anything else. In 1950, the Korean War started, and in 51, I was 20 years old, and I was drafted, and everybody was going to Korea, and I expected to go to Korea too, but when we finished basic, lo and behold, my entire company was sent to Europe. I served on two years active duty, and I served four years in reserve. I was in the ready reserve, which was the first to be called in case of hostilities. My military service, I got to admit, was the greatest adventure of my life. You know, I, I would never do that, to go to Europe. There, 19 months, you know, it's a long time. And I got to Spain, I got to France, I got to North Africa. I went places, so it, it was an adventure. My wife's name was Beatrice. I met her when I was about 15 years old, and I dated her a few times. Then I went in the service. And when I came out of the service in 53, I called her up and we started dating in 53. And in 54, we got married. And not only was she my wife, she was the best friend God ever gave me. She was my girl. We were married, to, we were together before she passed away for 36 years. She's gone 25 years now, but she's still my best friend ever. One thing I've told my children after my wife was gone, I had to be truthful with them. I said, I realize now that whenever your mother and I didn't, didn't agree on something, I wouldn't admit it then, but she was always right. <laughs> when I got out of service, I got a job with Western Electric Company. They were, they were waiting for veterans that were trained, and I had been trained as a radio repairman, electronic technician, and they were hiring them because the world was changing. Uh, tubes were going out, transistors were coming in, and they were building new equipment all over, installing new equipment. In 62, I opened my own store, had my own business, and that's when the change in things really hit. Nobody was repairing anything. So I got a civil service job with a school district in New York, second largest school district in the state of New York, and uh, I stayed there until I retired in 91. My wife and I had two children. My daughter, Iva, she was a medical technologist. She worked in the in, in medical laboratories, she worked with different doctors, she worked in different hospitals, and she enjoyed her work. And when she got married, she stopped working, which was nice. My son, Eric, he is an accountant today. He's been doing that since his graduation. What my children think of me, I would say they would think I was a good father. I was always around, I was always home. My wife and I had a good relationship. It was a warm house. We didn't live high on the hog, but we did well. And that was important, that the home be good for the children. 
most important political event in my life, I have to say, was the atomic bomb. That was a cr critical time in my life. I was 15 years old, I knew what was happening, and I saw the changes in the world, and I saw the threats grow all over the world. It was a terrible thing. We had some good presidents. We had Truman, who I consider one of the best presidents we ever had. Kennedy was good for what time he served. I don't know what would have happened. And Reagan came along, and I think he was a great president. Today, we have a different political atmosphere. Religion is important to me. I'm not the man my father was. I'm not the man my mother was or my grandparents. I'm not as religious as they were, but I do try. I see a lot of people give up religion, and I don't accept that as being good. It's not what I would want. I am not a person to, uh, to, to give advice to the world. I don't want people to say anything special about me. I just would like to see people be more understanding of each other to make the world a better place.